Hey Greyhounds, I'm Cameron Buckingham. And I'm Chris Copeland. Today we'll be covering the musical The Rock, Paper, Scissors Tournament, it's March's Reading Month, and Spring Sports. Now on to Chris with the musical. I'm Chris Copeland, and today I'll be covering the musical. This year, the Eaton Rapids High School put on a production of Anna Green Gables. It was a huge success. Let's talk to some of the cast and crew about the musical. My favorite part about being in the musical was probably all the dancing and all the new friends I've made throughout this whole journey. My favorite part about being in the musical was making new friends and making a bunch of memories and overall just being in a musical. My favorite thing was just being able to be with the cast and crew because we have a group of incredible people and spending a lot of time with my crew and building all of the sets and props for the show. Great job, actors. Hope to see you next year. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Chris. Now on to Cassie with Rock, Paper, Scissors. Hi, I'm Cassie Comer, and I'm covering the Rock, Paper, Scissors March Madness Tournament. Every year, the staff signs up for social committees. We all pick different months to sign up on, and we partner with different staff members just to try to have some fun around the school. In December, the December social committee had the staff make wreaths, and they did like a hot cocoa bar. And so there were six of us that signed up for March. And when you think of March, you can think of spring. Um, but for the six of us on committee, we really think of March Madness. So we thought we would have a championship bracket tournament with all the staff. And in order to advance, you had to play rock, paper, scissors. It was traditional rock, paper, scissors, none of this Spock or Lizards thing. And then the staff members who had made it all the way to the final four will get gift cards. And it's a progressive win. So staff members that make it to the championship round will also win gift cards. The final four lineup was Mr. Zubel versus Miss Kane and Mr. Coolidge against Mrs. O'Connell. First, Miss Kane and Mr. Zubel went head to head with Mr. Zubel taking it up. Next, Mr. Coolidge went against Mrs. O'Connell and took the win. The final round was Zubel versus Coolidge. Sportsmanship. Ready? Sure. Thanks. Whoa! One nothing. No! No! Well, it's been a long journey. I put a lot of effort and practice into this. I don't know what to say. I want to thank. Sam uh, O'Connell, my secretary, for constantly giving me grief about this. Uh, but uh, thank you, everybody. This was a lot of fun. Congratulations to Mr. Zubel. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Cassie. Now on to Sydney with March's Reading Month. Hi, I'm Sydney Thompson, and I'm here at Lockwood reporting on March's Reading Month. March's Reading Month encourages students all over to read as much as possible. This year, the theme at Lockwood is board games. Here at the high school, Interact helped out by making decoration, game pieces, and a giant Candleland board for the students to play with who met their reading goals. I had the chance to talk with a senior Interact member who helped out with this project. Here's what she had to say. I'm Courtney, and for March's Reading Month, Interact has, at first, at the beginning of March, we started making decorations like dice and dominoes and stuff to hang up around the school, uh, around Lockwood. And then after that, we've been working on these boards to make a life-size game board of Candyland. It's been super fun. We've been painting and we're designing a castle to go at the end. And that's pretty much it. And then afterwards, we're gonna go on a certain day and help all the kids play Candyland for all those that met their reading goals. Thanks to all the students who made March's Reading Month so sweet. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Sydney. Now on to Cadence with Spring Sports. Hi, I'm Cadence Richardson and I'm bringing you our Spring Sports preview. This year, I got the chance to interview some of our returning spring athletes. Let's see what they have to say. My name is Trey Acker. I play second base and pitcher. Um, this season, I think we'll be pretty good. We got a lot of young guys, but I think we can still have a good season. And I'm just excited to go play and have fun with all my teammates. Hi, I'm Mariah Salazar, and I play um, outfield for Eaton Rapids varsity softball. Um, I think our season's going to go pretty well. We have some pretty good players and we're definitely um, coming off strong this season. I'm looking forward to us going to districts and hopefully going further this year. I'm Trey. I golf. I'm ready to make some birdies this year and I think this season's going to go better than last year. I'm Anna Hoganson and I play tennis and I think the season's going to go great and I'm excited to play with a whole bunch of new girls. I'm Cameron Buckingham and I'm a forward 
and I think the season's gonna go really well and I hope to score a bunch of goals and I think we're gonna get a lot of dubs. Hi, I'm Hannah Rouse. I do track. I run the 1600 and the 200. I'm really excited that we have a lot of girls on our team this year and I think the track season will go really well. Hi, I'm Connor Warden and I run mid-distance. I think this season will have a way better season because we added a lot of new guys with new skill sets that we can put to use in different areas each meet. And personally, I think I'm going to break a lot of PRs, and I know a lot of guys on the team are going to break PRs, so as long as we keep that mindset, then we're going to have a great season. Good luck this year, Greyhounds. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Cadence. That's all we have for you today. Have a great day, Greyhounds.